Ever wonder if there are spirits on call waiting? Well, you're in luck because celebrity psychic medium Matt Frazier is here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It's great to be here. OK, look, we never die. The name of your new book, what do you mean we never die? Mm. So what's really amazing is there's actually two versions of us. There's the physical version, which is what you're seeing right now. But then we all have another version within us that's made completely of energy, and, uh, and that's our soul. Yeah. And what's so amazing is that when we leave our body behind, our soul is what transitions onto the spirit world. And literally, we truly never die. We just, it's just a change of worlds. Is there somebody lingering over here right now? Oh, listen, there's always spirits lingering. Okay. Because our loved ones are with us every day. So even right now in this studio, there's all of these voices that are here. And like with you right now, there's a young female that had passed away. Wow. And literally, she's showing me that she was like a best friend to you here in this world, almost like a sister when I'm connecting. Yeah. And when I'm connecting, she's telling me that she passed in tragedy here in the physical world. Yes. And she tells me that you did not get to say goodbye to her. Yes. And there's also questions over her passing and what happened. Yep. Because right away she stepped forward and she kept saying to me, Matt, let them know I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Damn. She's telling me right away they have to talk to you because she tells me when I'm connecting with her that she had many issues within her life. Yes. And more importantly, she says to me, Matt, she goes, when I died, he saw a different side of me. And I'm going to tell you what she means. She's telling me there was issues with depression. She's telling me there was issues with anxiety. And here's something you didn't know. She's telling me there was issues with medications with her. Oh, my God. Did you know about this? No, I had no idea about this, but everything else is so spot on. So She, she says to me when I'm connecting, because here's what happens. Yeah. Souls will actually show me what had happened when they had died. And she showed me when I'm connecting that she had issues getting her moods under control. Yes. And she mm. says to me, because of that, Matt, she's telling me that she would that her moods would fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. Damn. Oh so this is God. all resonating for you. Oh, my clearly. God, okay. yes. And this is the person who... Who was this to you? Huh? She was my best friend. We worked together um, at, a, at a restaurant, but we were super close. I used to stay at her house when I was 15 years old. Her name's Amy, and we didn't talk for a year before she died. We got into a falling out. Mm -hmm. I always thought we would patch it up, and I never got a chance to do it mm -hmm. with her. Oh. I'm going to tell you something. Oh. She's here today to tell you that that was not your fault. Damn. The reason why the two of you, listen, the two, reason why the two of you had that falling out was not because of you or because of her. It's because you didn't know what was going on in her life. True. Wow. She was going through that depression, that anxiety. She tells me it changed her as a person. And anytime the spirit shows me medications like Xanax and things like that, it means that there were other things that she was on she wow. was taking. Wow. I need somebody to clip <gasps> this to me because I need to send this to her sister. We just That's had this amazing. conversation literally two months ago about Are you her. kidding me? Wow. So this is what I'm talking about is that spirits are always in the room. So when you just talked to her sister just two months ago, yeah. right, and she's yeah. here talking to you today, that's the way that it works. And right here next to you, your grandmother's here as well when I'm connecting. And right away, she was telling me before she had died, there was issues with her head before her departure. Mm -hmm. She tells me that the family members did not get to say goodbye to her because it happened quickly. And also, she's telling me that you just, that, um, hold on a second. She's also telling me there was a dog that passed with you as well. Mm -hmm. Because she's telling me she's got your dog on the other side because even our Aww. pets make it, make it to heaven. And that dog was like your baby here yeah. in this world. Oh, my. This is oh. crazy. I you met still that have, dog. Wait a minute. You still have the dog's collar, they're telling me. Yeah. Because the, because what happens is our spirits uh, of our pets actually watch over us. And your grandma keeps telling me about this collar that you kept of that dog. Yeah, I did. Wow. Oh, yeah, I, I met that dog who was yeah. your pride and joy. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah. This is wild. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got I off scot free, she's but what about the dog? Yeah, what about what about <laughs> folks? I mean, do we all have the capacity to have some kind of psychic abilities or absolutely? Listen, really? we all have a connection. The spirit world tells me this, and it's the reason why I wrote this book. We all have a way to connect with our loved ones, and more importantly, they are also trying to get in touch with us. Here's how: signs, signs like butterflies, repeating numbers, songs, mm -hmm. smells, mm -hmm. dreams. These are not coincidences. These are our loved ones trying to get in touch with us, and what you think is a sign, right? Must, uh, what you think is a sign probably is if it reflects that person's personality. Mm. For example, if your father was a smoker here in this world and he passed and all of a sudden out of, out of random you just smell cigarette smoke around you, yeah. that's a way that he's showing you that he's there and with you. OMG. Wow. Okay, I'm like, I'm, I'm just like, Whoa, wait, are you freaked out right now? I'm sorry. I am. <laughs> no, I'm so happy. You know, I'm so happy because other times that I have had um, mediums, it, it was like she was timid. It was like she didn't want to really come through. Mm. She came through, she sent a sign, a very clear sign, but never went in depth and never wanted to talk to me about what was happening. And I recently had someone, a friend of mine, who also had someone pass the same way she did. And it sparked something 
in me that I started thinking about her all the time. And I started talking to her. Like, in the mornings, I would just, you know, say something to her that was just random every now and then. I just got that feeling. So now that she's coming out and talking about the things that I would really wanted to talk to her about, it's just crazy. It really is crazy. I'm, I'm shocked wow, that's amazing. that she's like, you know, this open. Thank you so much, Amy. Like, I really appreciate Ooh, it. I love that. It's yeah. got to so feel wonderful. Crazy. It feels wonderful. Yeah. We were, when we were about to go live, you were kind of asking yes. for someone to come through. Was that her? There was two people I two wanted people. to come through, and she and was, was one of them. Wow. I think the other one's not ready yet. Okay. Well, sometimes it takes up to a year's time for a loved one to come through. What I want everyone to know, too, and the reason why I wrote this book is this, is for a loved one and spirit to come through, I can't make them come down. They only come through if there's a message that they have to tell us yeah. something they need us to know something that they're watching over within our lives and that's what's so amazing uh, that's when do you amazing. start your tour yeah when i'm you... already on tour so what's so crazy i just got back from arizona i'm heading to las vegas i'm doing um two shows at the venetian july 15th and 16th great. but listen to this uh -oh. i just added um a whole california tour as well <gasps> you guys i'm coming to los angeles yes where i'll be giving readings at the will turn i'm coming to wheatland california valley center california you guys Tickets on sale now have got nice. to te check out matt frazier and check Check out his new book as well, We Never Die. It's available for pre-order now, and it's out August 23rd. And make sure to catch him on tour.